The Monroe County Sheriff's Office releasing new video tonight of what happened in that parking lot outside of a Lambertville liquor store. This happened back in August. Pamela Osborne is in the newsroom tonight, and Pamela, we just learned charges have actually been filed in this case. And I was able to get those charges confirmed within the past hour. The man that you'll see punching her in that surveillance video, he has been charged with aggravated assault. Assault and battery charges have also been filed against Douglas. And the body camera video you mentioned that you're about to see right now, the deputy, what he says there resulted in both an internal investigation and prompted a federal investigation as well. Take a look. Look at they did to my I face, know. sir. I know. This is 59-year-old Tracy Douglas on the night of August 20th. She's talking to a Monroe County Sheriff's deputy about an encounter she had with a group of people in the parking lot outside of the liquor cabinet on Secor Road in Lambertville. Surveillance video shows the incident from a distance. Douglas was a passenger in the dark colored sedan parked next to that white pickup truck. When she opened the door, it dinged the truck. And that's when her attorney, Darnell Barton, says the woman inside became enraged, demanding Douglas's insurance information while making racial slurs. A fight breaks out. The deputy who was on patrol when he noticed the commotion stopped to investigate. Take a listen. No, that's fine. I just want to know who hit her. Me. Did you hit her? Oh, drilled her. Okay. Drilled her like a champ, dude. Okay. She was beating up my girlfriend on the ground. Okay. We now know this man is Dennis Landis. He brags about not only hitting Douglas, but about being a trained fighter and his work with police officers. Barton says the girlfriend was the instigator. I believe that the woman who was irate enough to to get out the car, start demanding insurance information, cussing and spitting and yelling racial epithets. I think she might have been the one who was out of line. But it's this exchange that furthers Barton's belief that his client was not treated fairly. I'm not with, where are you from? Okay, good. I'm here. No, where are you from? Where are you from? You to... Michigan. Okay, I'm from Detroit. So I'm probably more black okay, than you. So you want to play the racial you ain't card? Black than me. Yeah, I am. You're not, you're where not. you grow up at? Exactly. I grew up southwest. The deputy is white. The sheriff's office says the comments were unacceptable and not consistent with the values and vision of the office, adding the comments were made in the heat of the moment in response to Douglas, asking him if she was being treated differently because of her race. Douglas suffered a broken nose and a concussion. She was taken to the hospital where she was treated. The woman who she and her attorney alleged started the incident was not charged. In fact, Douglas was charged with assaulting her. And at this point, Pamela, what happens next? Well, tomorrow they're going to be holding a rally in front of the courthouse in Monroe. They'll officially file a civil lawsuit against all of the parties involved. We know that Douglas and her legal team have already filed a civil rights complaint with the FBI, which means the investigation into the remarks the, off the deputy rather made are still open, ongoing. And that wraps up when that FBI investigation wraps up. The deputy, we're told, was counseled and additional training focusing on implicit bias bias and diversity will also take place in the department. Yeah, we'll be following all the developments. All right. Thank you, Pam.